welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little different because I wanted to not do a series because it's just this week's video and next week's video. But um, this week's video is going to be kind of like a little get to know me, a little not, a little Vogue vibes, little not. Or literally my sister's behind the camera filming and she's going to ask me 27 questions because I'll be turning 27 next week. And so this is kind of like a pre-birthday vlog and then next week will be my actual birthday vlog and you can see what I do for my birthday. I don't do much but you know. So yeah, 20 20 ooh, 27 questions with me, Sarah. Hit me. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I'm so sad to say this and so scared but I actually scroll through my Instagram. Like I just I don't go a lot but I just go one, two and then I'm like hey, I'm done. I stop myself. That might be a lie. Instagram or YouTube? YouTube because it's more inspiring, but Instagram because it's prettier. But if I had to pick one, I think YouTube. Would you recommend people to go on a social media detox? 125-70,000%. Why do you think it's good to go on a social media detox? Because sometimes like life just gets too much and sometimes you just need to step back. Like you need a reminder to know that Instagram is not real life. People are posting only their success, only their best moments, only their most beautiful times. So, and sometimes that's overwhelming to see if you're going through a tough time, a rough time yourself. So I think it's important to step back and just focus on you and what matters in your life. What is your biggest emotion? What is your biggest emotion during this whole pandemic? Like, what do you feel the oh, most? What do I feel the most? Um, grateful. Grateful. That's good. On that note, we're gonna head over. What's your favorite childhood memory with your sister, Balkis? My favorite childhood memory would probably be our birthday at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> just because we used to celebrate all our birthdays together like for so long because her birthday, her is in behind this camera, is November 14th and mine's December 1st so it's only two weeks apart and I remember we'd always have joint birthdays every year and I just remember the McDonald's one super clearly because I think when I was much younger, like, I swear I had like mental block like I don't remember some of the things that happened much younger. I remember what happened in the older days so yeah celebrating our birthday in McDonald's. McDonald's or KFC? KFC, are you kidding me? Is it true you got someone expelled out of school? <laughs> yes. Why would you do that? Because you should just never get on my nerves. So you are a bully? I am not a bully. Is that your son? This is my son. Since when were you a cat person? Since my friend gave me this beautiful little bit of short hair and I kind, I'm kind i also engaged so I decided it was time for me to be more maternal, more motherly and I just decided to love cats. How's wedding planning going? Wedding planning is going shite! <laughs> Because of COVID, this pandemic, a lot of things are getting delayed or not happening. We don't know, there's so much uncertainty and it's just like, there's a lot. <sighs> Let's see if we get any inside scoop. Where would your wedding be at? My wedding will be- What kind of vibes would it be? Ooh, ooh, ooh. question number two before I even <laughs> my wedding be My wedding will be somewhere beautiful. Uh, the vibe will be very me. If you know what that means, you will know what my wedding will be like. What is the biggest, what's your biggest life-changing moment? Life-changing moment? Um, probably getting engaged as mm. a more recent one, but definitely be getting engaged. I think it was definitely life-changing. Um, I'm definitely the kind of girl that does whatever the fuck I want, pardon my French. And I think since being engaged, I've had to understand that I need to ask permission from another person. I need to care about the other person before I care for myself. I need to take into consideration what they think as well, which is not something new to me, but it's just something I struggle with because I do live life only for me. Yeah. 
What does it feel like having a pacemaker? Hi, Pacey's right here. It feels weird. It feels strange because I can feel a piece of metal there. And even it's almost been two years and as used as I am to it, I still feel it there. And I think that's a feeling that will never go away. Chanel or Dior? Dior. London or Bali? London, are you kidding? How many boyfriends have you had? Legit ones? Yes. Three. Not legit? For me to know and for you guys to never find out. Ooh. What made you want to date a Malay person? Because um, you've never dated one. Honestly, I'm gonna embarrass him, but one of the first lines that he always used to say to me was like, tell me something, tell me something. And he would say that every single time there was like an awkward moment between us. And I think I just fell in love with that because it's like, he made it so easy for me to open up to him and that's what I look for in a guy. Someone who just makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel safe, and he'll never judge. So, yeah, his little tell me something, I didn't care what race he was, I just felt safe with him. Good job, it's... Mm. It's raining. Night out or night in? Right, this version of me, night in. What do you do in your nights in? On your nights in? I usually put on some shows. Netflix, chill, eat. I love to snack. Um, yeah, I don't do much really. Like, I'm just a homebody for no reason, but I actually don't do much. What's your skincare routine like? My non-existent <laughs> three-step skincare routine um, involves a brand called Huxley, wash my face with I don't know what, put some shit on the cotton pad, put it on my face, and then put some, I think it's, the third thing, like there's like toner, cleanser, and high moisturizer. Moisturizer, I think the third thing, the moisturizer, and then I put my face. I don't know what they're called, I don't know what they are, I just know the steps because my sister taught it to me. It's a simple, non-existent three step to get this beautiful major scuba. What would you do without your sister? <laughs> oh my god, I would be nowhere. <laughs> What's your relationship like with your parents? Um, honestly, since I got Casey, my relationship with them has been a lot better. I think we've gotten a lot closer in the family me as a daughter to them and I think it's better but it's always a work in progress there's always room to improve in being a better daughter obviously my parents your parents do not need to improve it's you that needs to improve so um yeah work in progress how often would you be back once you leave home I will come back like twice a week why are you sweating so badly I sweat so freaking easily like like seriously, I could just be standing, not doing anything, and I'll sweat profusely like this. I don't know what's wrong with my sweat glands. <laughs> so, second last question: What are you gonna do right after this video? I'm gonna edit it. Oh, wow. Are you excited to turn 27? Um. Yes, I am. I feel like life is slowly coming together. I always said that by 30, I want to have everything together. So, inshallah, I'll be getting married next year. Check. Um, my sister and I just started a new activewear line, so we have a new brand, check. So everything in terms of career, personal growth, all kinds of spiritual growth, mind, body, and soul, I feel like I'm really growing every day. So not to up myself, but I am proud of myself for doing that. So I feel like I'm working towards that whole like 30, flirty, thriving, all that 13 going on 30 bullshit. I feel like I'm going towards that. Is that the time? end, yeah. Yes! Alright guys, so this is my room. California Sarah. I don't know what it's a really childish thing, but I've had it since I was a kid. I am going to go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next week's vlog will be how I celebrate my birthday. Please follow, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Bye!